Today we are reading a story called The Grouchy Ladybug. Do you know what grouchy means? Grouchy means you do not have a good attitude. Maybe you're always talking in a mean sounding voice or when people aren't very nice to you, instead of showing them kindness, you just aren't very nice to them back. <sighs> Uh-oh. Let's see what happens to the grouchy ladybug. The Grouchy Ladybug by Eric Carl. He's also the illustrator. Did you know that's the same author and illustrator of The Very Hungry Caterpillar? It was night and some fireflies danced around the moon. At five o'clock in the morning, the sun came up. A friendly ladybug flew in from the left. It saw a leaf with many aphids on it. Those are these little bugs that ladybugs eat. And it decided to have them for breakfast. But just then, a grouchy ladybug flew in from the right. It too saw the aphids and wanted them for breakfast. Uh oh, hmm, what do you think will happen? Good morning, said the friendly ladybug. Go away, shouted the grouchy ladybug. Mm. I want those aphids. You can share them, suggested the friendly ladybug. No, they're mine, screamed the grouchy ladybug. Or do you want to fight me for them? If you insist, answered the friendly ladybug sweetly. It looked the other bug straight in the eye. The grouchy ladybug stepped back. It looked less sure of itself. Hmm. Oh, uh, you're not big enough for me to fight, it said. Then why don't you pick on somebody bigger? I'll do that, screeched the grouchy ladybug. I'll show you. And it puffed itself up and flew off. At six o'clock, it met a yellow jacket. See the yellow jacket? It's like a wasp. Hi, you, said the grouchy ladybug. Want to fight? If you insist, said the yellow jacket, showing its stinger. Oh, uh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug and flew off. At seven o'clock, it met a stag beetle. Hi, hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug. Want to fight? If you insist, said the stag beetle, opening its jaws. Oh, uh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug. Hmm. Here's the stag beetle. Here's the ladybug. Who's bigger? Hmm, the grouchy ladybug saying, you're not big enough. At eight o'clock, it came across a praying mantis. Hi, you, said the grouchy ladybug. Want to fight? If you insist, said the praying mantis. And it reached out with its long front legs. Did you see them? Oh, uh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug and flew off. Clock, it almost flew into a sparrow. Hi you, said the grouchy ladybug. Want to fight? If you insist, said the sparrow, opening its sharp beak. Ch -ch -ch. Oh, uh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug and flew off. Hmm. What do you think? He keeps saying you're not big enough. And look at the grouchy ladybug. Do you think they're really not big enough? Let's see what happens next. 
At 10 o'clock, it saw a lobster. Hi, you, said the grouchy ladybug. Want to fight? If you insist, said the lobster, stretching its claws. Ch -ch -ch. Oh, uh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug and flew off. At 11 o'clock, it bumped into a skunk. Ooh. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug. Want to fight? If you insist, said the skunk and started to lift its tail. Uh oh, you know what that means for a skunk? They spray something really, really stinky. The grouchy ladybug said, oh, oh, uh, you're not big enough and flew off. At 12 noon, it spotted a boa constrictor. It's this kind of snake. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug. Can you see the grouchy ladybug? Ooh, look at him compared to the snake. He's bigger. Hey, you, want to fight? If you insist, said the snake right after lunch. Oh, oh, you're not big enough said the grouchy ladybug and flew off. At one o'clock, it happened upon a hyena. Ooh, okay, here's the hyena, and here's the grouchy ladybug. Want to fight, said the grouchy ladybug. If you insist, said the hyena, laughing merrily, showing its teeth. Oh, uh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug and flew off. Mm. This is getting suspicious. At two o'clock, it met a gorilla. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug, want to fight? Okay. Here's the gorilla. And here is the grouchy ladybug. If you insist, said the gorilla, beating its chest. Oh, uh, you're not big enough, said the ladybug, and flew off. At three o'clock, it ran into a rhinoceros. Hi, you, said the grouchy ladybug. Want to fight? Mm. Here's the rhinoceros, and here's the grouchy ladybug. Can you even see him? He looks so small next to the rhinoceros. If you insist, said the rhinoceros, lowering its horn. Mm, what do you think that means if he's lowering his horn? He's ready to Oh, Oh, uh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug and flew off. At four o'clock, it encountered an elephant. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug, want to fight? If you insist, said the elephant, raising its trunk and showing its big tusks. These are the tusks, sharp things on the side. Oh, oh, uh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug and flew off. Look, here's the elephant. Here's the grouchy ladybug. At five o'clock, it met a whale. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug. Want to fight? Here's the grouchy ladybug. Here's the whale. But the whale did not answer at all. <gasps> You're not big enough anyway, said the grouchy ladybug and flew off. At 515, the grouchy ladybug said to one of the whale's flippers, hey you, want to fight? But it got no answer. 
so it flew off. At 5.30, the grouchy ladybug said to the whale's fin, Hey you, want to fight? But it got no answer, so it flew off. Here's the grouchy ladybug. Still flying past the whale. At quarter to six, the grouchy ladybug said to the whale's tail, Hey, you want to fight? Here's the grouchy ladybug. And the whale's tail gave the grouchy ladybug such a slap Ladybug arrived back where it had started. Ah, oh, here you are again, said the friendly ladybug. You must be hungry. There are still some aphids left. You can have them for dinner. Oh, uh, thank you, said the wet, tired, and hungry. Ladybug. Soon, all the aphids were gone. Thank you, said the leaf. You are welcome, answered both ladybugs. And they went to sleep. The fireflies, who had been sleeping all day, came out to dance around the moon. The end. So what do you think? What happened to the grouchy ladybug? He did not have a good attitude in the beginning, right? And what happened to him? Do you think that all of those animals were really too big for him to fight? Or do you think his attitude might have not been good so he didn't want to admit that he was scared? Yeah, I think so. Well, I hope you enjoyed this story. This is one of my favorites. And it helps remind me to always have a good attitude. Have a good day.